But listen, thanks very much for coming along uh, today. You just wanted to bring everyone together to give some reaction, if a reaction is merited, to uh, the latest capers from government buildings and particularly Paul Kyo's statement. Um, like I was actually, frankly, slightly embarrassed uh, reading it there today. This, you know, a government that is so patently uh, unpopular, and anyone who's out knocking doors will tell you that. And to tell me when I was out last night myself how unpopular they are, and then yet Paul Kyo was sent out by someone in government information to actually say how end is going to be T-shirt for the next ten years. Like so, it kind of uh, made me think that you know, it's a, probably a further example, really, of how out of touch. Uh, how arrogant this government are. They've got many things wrong, particularly recently. We only have to look at the debacle of Irish water and Eurostat. Look at the thousands of repossession orders that have been issued every single month. Uh, and we, we look at all of these debacles coming one after another after another, and then they see fit to issue a statement about their plan for Enda, like some North Korean leader who's going to lead us into the 2020s. Uh, it's absolutely bonkers, and I just, I frankly, I don't get it, but you know, if it wasn't that serious, it, it would be funny, and it is kind of funny, but if that is the mentality of senior ministers at Cabinet in actually thinking that this is something that will wash with people, they're completely out of touch. Because the one thing I can say with absolute certainty here today is that this government won't be re-elected. Fine Gael Labour government will not be re-elected at the next general election. I don't think there's any fair-minded person or commentator will actually see, if you look at the last poll or the ones before that, that there is no way that this government is going to be re-elected. Yet Paul Kyo, as government chief whip, is sent out, you know, and basically sent out to read a statement about how great end is, and not only will he do one other term, he'll do another one after that. So, you know, I think the, it needs to be addressed. The government really need to get real about things. We're coming into a very important budget with people all over the country who are, who are not feeling uh, the recovery. We have thousands of people in Middle Ireland who are paying mortgages, high childcare costs, variable rate mortgages that Minister Noonan said he would address on foot of Michael McGrath, my colleague, pressing this issue, that hasn't been addressed. Uh, repossession orders, as I mentioned earlier on, thousands of them. And the reason for that is because this government brought in legislation to permit it. The Land and Conveyance Act 2014, a fact. We said that at the time, that's what's happened. So Real Ireland is a million miles away from where Paul Kyo and Enda Kenny are. And I'd like to say I wish him well, but I don't. But the reality is I do hope that, that he gets you know, back to some sense of reality before they start putting uh, this budget together.